What is up YouTube? Welcome back on another unboxing video. Today we are going to unbox Trafalgar D Waters Law from Super Bomb Studio, my favorite character. Okay, welcome back to our channel guys. Today we are going to open another statue, Super Bomb Studio. Trafalgar D Water Slow, my favorite character. Um, this scale would be um Pop Max scale, about 33 centimeters in height. Now let's check out what's inside of this box. Now I opened the styro already, and this is what you guys can see inside. So yeah. This is what's inside of the box. I hope it won't fall. This is risky. Yep. Now let's take the piece one by one. Let's start with this hand right here because it looks like it's about to fall. That's the first part. My ring, my front ring cam or like ring light is not working. I don't know why. So let's take this piece out. This is lost body, some styro like all over the place. There you go. And that's his body. We got some like cloth near so that's the third piece of the statue I don't want to like remove my hand but yep that's the third piece we have ourselves a nice card here doesn't have a number on the card sbs super bomb studio and I, I can't understand some of the words so that's the fourth part so the fourth piece one two three four we got four pieces out already five including the head and this is another part of lost clo clothing it's all torn up because it looks like is all beat up on this um statue one two three four five six that's the sixth piece we have another piece of cloth here seventh piece we have what do we have here a rope eight piece i think this goes on his sword i don't know that's the eight piece now the last part that we're going to pull is the base all right seems like all parts are out there you go just put it right there actually i saw something on the floor maybe it fell down when i opened this is another piece i believe unless this is from another figure that i have but let's say this is another piece we got one we get the base one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and 10 including the card now the card looks so nice i don't want to take it off of the foil so we have 10 pieces all together now you guys always know we always start with the base there's just like some styro particles on all over the statue so this is the base it's like a like fallen debris or something so that's the first part. The first part is the base. Now from here, we're just gonna figure out how we 
it like put things on their respective places now we are going to put the body next pretty nice law is like all battered up in this um statue take a look he has like some wounds or scratches and his cape is like like beaten up so yep so this is his body and he's holding somebody's heart right here so i don't know whose heart it is but so he has a peg so i believe it goes right here on this piece right there so just give me a sec as i move things around so that it'll be easier for me to put law on this base just gonna move it closer to me like i said right in front of me i have my camera so yep there you go now i managed to put loss as in the peg however my issue is this one i believe the leg is supposed i don't know if i can just like zoom in is supposed to go in this magnet but i don't want to force it like that so it's actually like that and right now if i move it like that his his like peg on his ass is not in place so i don't know that's how he looks like right now so i'm just like gonna play this along and see how it goes so we have another hole right here and we have a peg right here i think it fits here perfectly just like that right now the statue looks like that now let's figure out where this piece goes there's a hole in here so i think this piece i don't know it goes right here just like that yeah i believe it goes like that now you need to put the cloth first before lost body that's interesting now we keep on learning this is a new experience for me because it doesn't have an instruction which piece needs to go where first all i need to know is all i need to figure out is where the pegs are going so as you guys can see loss um like bum is on fits perfectly on its peg however the leg there's a magnet there's a peg on the on the uh, on the bottom of his shoes where it's supposed to go inside this hole however it seems like it's not in place so if i put the loss as perfectly it this one is like kind of like not going in like the peg on lost shoe is not going inside this hole so it's kind of like miscalculation on the studio's part. So it doesn't... And... I just saw this on the floor. Maybe it fell when I opened it. I don't know, it goes right here? Probably goes right here. Yep, there you go that thing goes in there and we have another piece of clothing i don't know which this thing goes does it go here no it doesn't go there so the hard the hard part about um this is like figure figuring out where things are going now i can't figure out where this piece is going so i'm just gonna put it aside from now for now now we have lost head take a look at that he has a wound on his head he seems like he's bleeding he has a scratch in his face he looks serious and mean lost my favorite character i love his abilities and especially his voice actor is pretty cool the voice actor of Le levy as well and attack on titan so that's the head we got ourselves 
his sword however before i put it on his hand he he has a rope here that i believe that connects in the sword no i think we need to put it right here there you go so this is how his sword looks like now and no this way it's probably going that way there you go who he looks badass now there's just like some styro all over the statue And we got ourselves a like dust particles. Now the hard part is figuring out where this thing goes. Because even I am having a hard time figuring out. So this is part of his clothing. And it has a magnet. So we need to find a hole that has a missing magnet unless it's going here but i'm not sure i believe this goes where uh, this is where the peg on his leg is going so we need to find a hole that has a missing magnet okay guys i cannot still figure out where this piece is going i've been looking at the statue for maybe like 10 minutes and i still don't know where is it going but I'm going to figure it out sooner or later. For now, I'm just going to put this on the side. I'm going to put loss card over here. And let's give him a spin. Now, time for our review about the statue. The statue looks pretty amazing. Pre pretty like well detailed. This one is like cheap statue. It's like around a hundred dollars when it was first it usd it 100 usd when it first came out on pre-order and right now um i think it went up a little bit because like it's out of stock on most places and you just need to pay shipping fee which is not that much because the box is not that big and it's not that heavy of a statue and the piece is pretty much like I love this piece because like it's my favorite character obviously and I'm kind of a little biased and you guys can see it it is well detailed and not too big not too crazy I'm, I just have I'm, I'm just having a hard time figuring out where this piece is going but if you look at even without this piece the statue looks amazing so my only issue is the peg on loss like like but it's not a big of a deal he still looks amazing even if like his pe his leg won't go inside of like the 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 part where it's supposed to be you wouldn't even notice it but aside from that that's the only issue that i have like the statue itself it's pretty amazing law holding his sword holding a heart and law is like one of the most badass for me for me one of the most badass character on the series like his pose is very dynamic he sits on those rubble where he holds a heart and he holds his sword and he looks beat up like all over the place but he still looks very very cool now let's take a look i mean let's take a closer look this is my favorite character law he's holding a heart i don't know whose heart it is and he's holding his sword on the other hand he looks really really beat up i love the effects of the the cape that it's giving it's like the wind is blowing and then it's giving like a good effect when it comes to like the ragged cape that he has so yeah he's sitting on the rubble it doesn't have any number and that's fine by me i don't really mind and like the scale would be pop pop max scale like the statue looks really really amazing so, so you guys see what i mean and he has a peg underneath his leg 
I don't know if you guys can see this right here. That's a pack that's supposed to go inside of this hole right here. Now I couldn't find another hole. I tried to put this on that like place right there, but it doesn't seem to like go in. So I don't know. I don't know um, where this piece is going, but I'm fine. Even if I like, I couldn't find it. I'm fine with it. But it would be more perfect if I could like, like find where it is actually going. I couldn't seem to find another place to put it. But for now, that's that's all. And. Let, let me guys know what you think about this statue and let me guys know about your experience if you already have it and help me find where this piece is going. Wait a minute, before we end the video, I actually figure out where this thing goes. Somebody told me in the group chat where I that it's going to be underneath this right here. It goes like that. So there's actually a hole underneath this thing, like this brick wall right here, or whatever you call this. So there's actually a the hole is underneath. So I I really couldn't like um, see it earlier. So yeah, that is where the last piece is gonna be. At the end of the day, I figure we figure it out where everything goes, and that's a good thing. And thank you guys again for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.